recordings. I'm very excited to be here today to talk about how our company, AnyMoney Group, has been growing super fast, much faster than other, comp other startup in Asia. And uh, we really focus on you know, doing our business globally. I, I'm very confident about you know, our business model. Our business model works anywhere in Asia. All right, so just um, let's do a quick intro of our company. So I and Otohiko, one more co-founder, have founded AutoAsia Holdings in April 2016. So we are still very young startup compared to, I guess, you know, startup here. So definitely, so we are, you know, very uh, like a startup when we start the company, when we start the, you know, business in Singapore. We, our office was very small, like uh, only 10 square meter, only two Japanese founders in Singapore. However, <coughs> so when we launched our corporate website uh, two years ago, that is, you know, the, the, the corporate website was before. So our corporate website have eight languages. So it means that both of founders believe we can do the business globally, not only focus on sh Singapore market. So that is different mindset compared to other start startup here in Japan, I guess. Because Japan, the Japan market is quite big. So a lot of company really focus on, you know, getting very big market share here in Japan. After that, they try to expand the business into other market. So it takes a bit time for them to localize the business in each market. But for us, from day one, we have a plan to expand the business into a lot of market. Then almost two years later, uh, we have over 270 people in Asia. Since we started the business in Singapore, we expanded our business into a lot of market. So currently we have 12 offices in 10 countries. And uh, you know, I would like to share how, you know, what is our achievement. So 2016, which is our first financial year, first financial year, but even first financial year, we generate over 12 million US dollar in the revenue. That is kind of, you know, very outstanding achievement. I know, Kane, you know, everybody know about SoftBank. Their first year's revenue is quite outstanding. They generate almost 8 million US dollar as a first financial year. That is a very outstanding. But we, any mind, out of Asia, generate bigger revenue than, you know, SoftBank. And 2017, which is our, you know, second financial year, definitely. So we generate over 26 million US dollar. And we acquire, you know, recently, you know, three months ago, we acquired one Japanese company here in Japan like, uh, to, to expand our business into the Japan market. All right, and, uh, you know, we definitely be raised, you know, fundraising as well, like 14.5 million US dollar as a Series A round funding. That is actually, this is, uh, this amount is uh, one of the biggest amount for the, you know, technology company in Southeast Asia at that time. Okay, and recently we changed the name of our parent company from AutoAsia Holdings to any mining group. The reason why, because we expand our business into other industry, not to focus on other tech industry. So what are we are doing? We are providing an AI matching technology to the, you know, uh, in the auto tech industry between advertisers, publishers, and uh, brands, and the influencers. And recently we launched AI recruiting software as well, which focuses on matching between the enterprises and the job candidate. So under any mind group, we have three business units. One is other Asia, Casting Asia, and Talent Mind, which focus on HR tech. All right, let me do a quick intro of our product. So in the other tech space, 
we provide a ROH digital platform, which is one-stop solution by using machine learning optimization for both advertisers and publishers. As advertisers, you can access to our dashboard to see uh, you know, what's going on your marketing activity on different platforms, because our platform have connect to a lot of technology tools in the ad tech space. For publishers, so you can monetize the inventory through our one you know, single interface has connect to a lot of technology vendors such as Google, you know, Rubicon, Pubmatic, and so on. And uh, as you know that influencer marketing is kind of trend, especially in Asia. So for, for us, um, the reason why we expand our business into the influencer marketing industry because we do have our offices in each market in Asia, so we can you know get a lot of needs from the client. So basically, here is the issue. So basically, even a lot of advertisers pay attention to work with a lot of influencers. They don't know who is the appropriate influencer for 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 their brand. And then <coughs> we, we, we realize that we can provide our AI technology for, you know, for analyzing of their influencer data. Because basically, the reason why you want to work with some influencer, because you want to approach to the follower of those influencer. So it means that uh, the data of follower of the influencer is quite important, very useful for advertiser to make sure who is a you know, appropriate influencer. And you can track the influencer marketing campaign on our dashboard. We have very you know, uh, clear transparency reporting system. OK, and recently, we, we launched uh, an AI-driven recruiting software, which is called Talent Mind. That you know, uh, recruiting software also focuses on the matching between their uh, job candidate and the enterprises. As a HR manager, you can access to this dashboard. And we manage candidate data through this platform. We are making like a score. Our AI engine can make a scoring of the candidate uh, through their resume data, uh, personality site, and so on. The reason why we, we launched this product, because we are hiring a lot of people now. So for example, in the Philippines, we try to expand our business into you know, those markets at the moment. So I did the job, I, I post the job description on LinkedIn in the Philippines. And uh, I'm looking for only one sales now, but uh, almost you know, 300 applicants apply to this job. So it means that our HR managers need to spend a lot of, a lot of time for checking resume of their candidate. But if we use this technology, because our AI can analyze their you know, candidate data, candidate resume, you know, automatically. And uh, our AI engine can make a scoring of each candidate. So as a HR manager, you can save a lot of time. And you, can, you just need to prioritize someone who have a higher score to set up an interview. This is basically how it works. <coughs> All right, as I said, so uh, we're kind of like the fastest growing startup in Asia. That's what I believe. Uh, the reason why, you can see the number here. So this is the consolidated global revenue for the uh, 2017 last year. So as you can see, our revenue is getting bigger every quarter, especially Q4 2017. So we generated over you know, almost 10 million US dollar. And uh, especially for December last year, we generated over 4 million US dollar in the revenue. So it means that this year, we can, you know, generate at least 50 million US dollar. Oh, yeah. Okay, so as everybody know now, so how, uh, you know, what we achieve for the past two years. So how we can do it? How we did it? So first of all, we really focus on emerging market. Oh, sorry. 
we really focus on emerging market. So of course, Asia has, is still emerging market, especially in Southeast Asia, we have very high business growth. And we focus on three business areas. First of all, internet advertising, like our online ads. Of course, a lot of young people here in Asia, so basically millennials spend so much time for serving internet instead of watching TV, reading newspaper, so digital is kind of a, you know, key to approach to those millennials. And the influencer marketing, everybody know like a social media is still booming, booming. So this market is also, you know, has a high growth. And the HR tech, uh, of course, like a, a lot of, uh, recently a lot of technology company try to do the business in the HR industry. Okay, for us, and localization is also key to be successful. So uh, for the other tech, other tech business, so we really focus on working with our, you know, premium local publishers in each market. The reason why we set up so many offices in Asia in order to have a local publisher networks in each market. If we have a very strong publisher network in each market, so a lot of advertisers want to work with us, definitely. And uh, in terms of influencers, definitely like, uh, we need to work with local influencers in each market. We need to build a strong relationship with those influencers. And uh, of course, we do the business in each market means we need to provide a local solutions. So localization is a very key to be successful, especially in Asia. Because even we talk about Asia, each country has each characteristic, each language. So <coughs> means that definitely we need to work with a lot of local people in each market. On the other hand, so I think uh, I, I really believe like uh, people, like our employee is also very important. And that is why, because of course, even we have a great technologies, basically people, our people provide that technology to the client. Our people is one to acquire, you know, new account in each market. So we are hiring a lot of people. Whenever I have an interview with a candidate, I really care about those characteristics. I really want all of our employee to have a same mindset. Even we are still, you know, less than two years old the company. I always, you know, mention to our member, our people, to have this, those characteristics. Okay, of course, team also very important. So because for us, we set up so many subsidiary in each market. So means that we set up, you know, each, we, start, we set up a lot of startup in a lot of market. So it's very tough for us to manage everything by ourselves. So, uh, especially in the, you know, other countries, I need to have a great country manager who I really can trust. So I spend a lot of time for finding right country manager in each market. And uh, yeah, this is very, you know, interesting thing. So I have, we have a, you know, country manager in each market, right? So we have weekly meeting with all of the country manager and uh, our financial data is very transparency. All of you know, people in this company, in our company, can access to their P&L, and uh, we make a ranking by entity. So each country manager try to you know, compete with each other. And we share a lot of good case study, and uh, uh, as well as you know, some issues in each market. So, uh, we have some international initiatives from management level. So we have now, we have 280 people in 10 countries. So, but I believe uh, we need to let all of our employees be on the same page because we are still very young startup, two years old the company. How we can do it? So we organize all hands meeting every quarter. All of our employees from 10 countries join this meeting. So I'm the one 
who share what's going on in our business, what we're going to do from now on. And we have very you know, uh, clear transparency in terms of data, company data. And uh, so, of course, employee level, because we are hiring a lot of people every month, at least like uh, 10 to 15 people join our company every month in order to let our newcomer be involved in this company as quickly as possible. So our employee organize this kind of you know, company activities. So we organize welcome lunch, welcome dinner almost every week to, to, to let our newcomer be on the, on the same page. OK, so let's talk about you know, the future. <coughs> For us, business model is very important, of course. And uh, we have a lot of engineers now. So 50% of our engineers focus on building machine learning technology, AI technology. We have co our core AI technology. We utilize this technology to a lot of you know, software in a lot of market. For example, now it's, it's currently we have we focus on three area: auto tech, influencer marketing, and the HR tech. But uh, in the near future, we try to utilize our AI technology to other industry as well. And of course, uh, we we try to expand our business into a lot of market. As I say, we are setting up our subsidiary in the Philippines at the moment, and uh, sooner or later, we're gonna start our business in the UAE, Russia, and, uh, and India as well. OK, and also, as a, as a founder, CEO, I really pay attention to the number. So some of the startup have a different strategy. But for us, of course, number is very important. And we are totally profitable now. Even we invest a lot. So uh, yeah, so if we have a great revenue, of course, our employee is going to be very happy because they can increase salary. Of course, we can, you know, give more, we can hire more people. And we spend a lot of time for opening new offices nowadays. The reason why, because we need to keep high, you know, business growth because we are startup. Thank you so much.